Hey, yo, listen up. We got a lot to talk about. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Do all that good stuff. At the core of all the 2K's problems is content. New content. We want to keep the game fresh throughout the year, but 2K is getting in the way of that because of profits. You heard it here first. They like money a lot. They like it a lot. I'm, I'm getting really tired of games that release every single year. I don't f with that. Games like Assassin's Creed and Call of Duty have different developers. So what I'm saying is while NBA 2K has one dev team and they all have one year to come out with every NBA 2K game, Call of Duty has three dev teams and each dev team has three years to come out with their Call of Duty game. So one year is not a lot of time and it's not even really a year because you have to give them time to tidy things up, work out the kinks and bugs. There's game testers, then get the feedback from them, make the improvements. That doesn't even include polishing and porting the games to consoles, right? So really they have like eight, nine months to develop the game before they have to polish things up and move on to the next 2K. So the second NBA 2K18 launches, a huge majority of the dev team moves on to NBA 2K19. They don't have much time, they have to get on the shit. Meanwhile, NBA 2K18 launched and there's players being deleted, nobody knows why. If you're on the East Coast and your buddy's on the West Coast, you can't play with each other on, on Team Pro-Am. Nobody knows why. There's incredible lag in the playground to the point where it's not playable. Nobody knows why. There's insane variable latency. It's making it impossible to shoot. The skills gap is not existent. Nobody knows why. And then of course the animation glitches come out, which for some reason 2K hasn't learned from previous years to patch up. And now the whole archetype system is fucked because you can never get those animations back from players. The whole meta is fucked up. Meanwhile, uh, people have already moved on to 2K19, the developers of course, and the dev team that stayed behind and is working on 2K18 is scrambling to get their shit together. After four or five months of patches, we finally get a game that you can call playable, and then we have like seven, eight months to enjoy the rest of 2K, except there's never any new content added, so there was never anything to keep it fresh. This is not rocket science. You don't need to sit here and listen to me. I don't have a degree, a PhD in common sense. Just come out with new content that keeps the game interesting. Literally, Fortnite is coming out with new limited time modes left and right. They're coming out with new guns. We're talking about Rainbow Six now. They have new operators that come out, new weapons that come out, new packs that every, every few months, they recognize that you have to change things up. You have to add something new to keep it fresh because those games have increased in player bases and people love those games. That's why they stick around as frustrating as it might be sometimes. And then let's think about us over here at 2K. The game launched, NBA 2K18, and if you're playing Playground, Pro-Am, or My Career, at no point throughout the year were some of the massive issues with the game even approached. They, didn't, they weren't even approached, let alone fixed, and on top of that, they made no new content. So we're talking about simple shit, like just nerf the blow buys and snatchbacks. We're talking about simple shit right now. I'm talking about why we gotta watch these unskippable cutscenes. It's simple stuff that really impacts the playability of the game. But why would you make a game fun to Play. Why would you keep it fresh if you can't make money off it? Literally, 2K does not make a decision unless they could profit off it. Even if long term it makes sense to make that decision, in the short term, they're so focused about increasing their earnings for this quarter that they can't see straight. So let me help you see straight, 2K. Fortnite is not the only reason why your game underperformed the last quarter. This is the first 2K in a while you could easily say they made zero effort in adding new content. And this is part of the reason why I hate yearly games, because we have to wait for the next game to release just to get new content. Okay, I'm gonna say something crazy and radical. Just rock with me for a second. A lot of you can be like, Agent, why don't we just do that? That makes a lot of sense. Let's launch NBA 2K once, like Fortnite, like Rainbow Six, like League of Legends, like Dota. We don't launch it every single year. We just launch the game once. Now, the entire dev team can work on adding new content throughout the years. If there's any massive problems with the gameplay, it can be addressed and we don't have to wait eight months for the next year's game so that we can be like, oh, finally that issue's gone. I think it allows them to focus. If you can focus on one product and make it the best it can be, you can add new content, keep it fresh. There's a reason why the games that are doing that are succeeding, it's because that formula works. Now financially, that formula hurts. 2K would never do it, just like EA would never do something like that, because in their minds, they're thinking to themselves, 
Like, what do you mean? We can't launch a game every year. How are we going to get the $100 million we charge people for all our pre-order bundles? Right? All that money they're going to get for that $60 version of 2K, the $100 version, they got $150, they got a $1 million version of 2K they're going to sell you, and they're not, they're not going to make that money. So, like, the chances of something like this happening is almost non-existent. Which is crazy, right? Isn't there enough proof in the industry already? Companies like Ubisoft did like a 360 in this bitch. Ubisoft used to do the same thing with Assassin's Creed. They used to do the same thing with a lot of their franchises and people hated them for it. What did Ubisoft do? Ubisoft dropped the game. They called it The Division, right? And they're recently coming out with The Division 2 like a few years after. They dropped the game. They called it Rainbow Six. They dropped the game. They called it For Honor. And instead of worrying about dropping a game every single year like that, they just worry about dropping new content. And that keeps the games fresh and alive. Literally just last week, you could have got For Honor for free on the PC. And so Ubisoft has an entirely different frame of mind than 2K. Ubisoft is thinking we can increase our player base by dropping the game for free for a week. 2K would think, what? Are you out of your f mind? We're gonna give away the game for free? Well, 2K is missing the point. Ubisoft realizes if, if people can start to play for honor and the player base can rise, then they can start to charge people for simple things, right? Whether it's microtransactions in-game, whether it's seasonal content, whatever the case is, if you're adding new content and you give people the option to purchase and or work for it, like Rainbow Six, then you're gonna end up making loads of profit. You're gonna have a game that's so popular, that's played by so many people, that you're gonna make so much money, you could just sleep in money, you could roll around in it. So Ubisoft right now is killing the game and they're doing it and, and the fans are loving it and then and then we're looking at EA and 2k EA 2k and it, they're just what are they up to these guys are the like at what point could we just focus on making a good product well why does it always have to come down to every single penny these guys are wilding y'all I want to give a shout out to some developers right now CD Projekt Red shout out to you shout out to Naughty Dog all right, shout out to you for focusing on the game and recognizing if you drop a fire product, people can have to respect it. People are gonna play it. And then when you drop some content, they almost feel obligated to buy the content. When Ubisoft comes out with Rainbow Six, dead on arrival. They work on the product. They improve the game even though they, there was never a guarantee that there was even a future for the franchise. What so happened is they came out with a product. They almost revived tactical shooters. Rainbow Six is killing the game. Now they're coming out with seasonal content and they're making a boatload of money. It's not even like a challenging concept. Like plenty of people are doing it. I would much rather see 2K come out with the game just one time. We don't have to come out with it 20 times over 20 years, just one time. Maybe once every five years, right? Maybe once every 10 years, it might make sense. Maybe, depending on like if there's a benefit to doing it. Am I crazy? It's not crazy to think that, right? At the end of the day, we just want a fun, good basketball game to play. But I feel like releasing a game every year is getting in the way of that. It has to be getting in the way of that. Because if you're a developer, think to yourself, are you gonna, what, what, what day is it? It's June 17th right now. Are you gonna drop new parks June 17th? Are you gonna drop a private poem June 17th? How are you gonna promote your next game? So they start saving features, they start saving new things for the new game so they could be like, look, it's new, it's brand new, give us more money. They're saving stuff for next year. Like the only reason, the only possible explanation I could think of, of why Private pro -Am wasn't in the game as of two years ago, last year, or even this year, is because they've been saving it. They're saving things so that one day they could be like, look at this new thing you've always wanted, now buy the game. If you drop a game just one time, and you're, all, your whole focus is on making the game stable, optimizing the game so it runs well, good performance, making the game fun, right? Keeping it new and fresh, then you won't ever have to worry about saving anything. When Fortnite comes out with a new gun, they're not waiting for Fortnite 2 to add a new gun or a new mode, a new skin. They just drop it because the product is right there in front of you. It's free to play, you can play it if you want, and for those of you who enjoy it enough, you can spend your money on all these skins. You can spend thousands of dollars if you want on the store, and really at the end of the day, that's your option. When you're playing Rainbow Six, it's the same thing. You can work towards getting the operators, or you can just pull out your wallet and buy them if you want. But I love that they give you that option. I love that they don't hold anything back, and I love that they recognize the obvious, in that if you create a good product, people can play your game, and they're gonna tell their friends about the game, and then their friends are gonna buy the game, especially if it comes out free to play, if it comes out on sale, whatever the case. So I'm excited for NBA 2K19, because I know that all the saved up new content 
Like, I'm hoping Private Primes is in there. I'm hoping all the things, like, I'm hoping there's a skills gap, right, when it comes to not only just shooting, but dribbling the whole nine. I'm hoping there's a good ranking system, leaderboard system. I hope there's a fantastic progression system that gets me addicted to playing the game, to wanting to come back and play more. I hope that there's ranked and unranked Pro-Am and Park to differentiate the casual fan from the competitive guy so we can both get each of what we want. I'm hoping that they come out with a My Career that's intriguing. I actually like 2K18's My Career aside from the fact that it had unskippable cutscenes. I hope that they come out with fire. But I'm telling you this right now. If 2K19 comes out, it's gonna be fresh and fire for a few months, right? Maybe even through December, everyone's gonna get it for Christmas. But come February, if they're not putting any sort of effort to add anything new, whether it's new things aesthetically, like clothes I can put on, or a new hat in the game, whether it's a new park you can go into, with like whether it's new modes, like remember when they tried Park After Dark in 2K17 and failed miserably? Like give us that park to play in 2K18 right now. Like there's plenty of things they can do to add new content. I'm, I'm rattling stuff off the top of my head. Like you could sit down in a boardroom with 20 other intelligent people that are being paid millions of dollars and you could think of even better solutions, right? 2K17 was straight up booty butt cheeks, right? 2K18 was dry boring. There is no way 19 could be worse. There's no way. Uh, I'm not really trying to rant or go in hard. I'm just kind of speaking out loud. This is honestly what I believe. Like, it, it is not even a crazy concept, but we've seen so many other people do it. I don't know why I had the headset on this entire video. I really wasn't listening to anything. Wow, feels weird to hear my own voice. Yo, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, put on post notifications in the comments. Let me know where you stand. All right, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. If you guys missed one of these two, Go ahead, click and subscribe to the channel. Drop on them post notifications. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.